you can now create auto generated maps for Beat Saber using this new website called Beat Sage. Beat Sage is an AI that creates free custom levels for Beat Saber. So basically, you go on YouTube, and here I've got a song from Monster Cat, and you copy the video link, and then on the website here, you scroll down and you paste the link in here. Now once that is done, it will generate the video title, the song title and the song artist as well as a picture of the song. And from here you can select various difficulty levels so you can either have them all or you can just select specific ones to be generated. And basically whatever you check is what will be generated. Now this has only come out recently so there is not full functionality yet so stuff like 90 degree levels, 360 degree, degree levels etc. They are not available yet, but they are planned for the future and so hopefully this will progress and become much more feature rich as time goes on. So currently you can see here it supports these difficulty levels but it doesn't support easy and as stated by Beat Sage, their reasoning for that is it's actually more difficult to program an easy level because there's just like basically not enough for it to um, learn from so as well as here you've got the song events so currently it supports bombs and dot blocks however it does not support walls yet nor does it support a dynamic light show but I am going to show you a way to add uh, a light show yourself also auto generated quite easily uh, after I have shown you the main process on the website so once you get to step five, all you have to do is this and it will start downloading your level and generating it. So all you have to do is wait for this bar to finish and by the time that's done, you will have your song that you've chosen completely ready and you can put it into your Beat Saber folder, which I'll show you how to do in a minute and you're done. Now you can play your favourite song without having to spend any time mapping it yourself. It will open up your file system where you can pick the uh, into your Beat Saber directory which should be in your Steam library or wherever you have Beat Saber stored. Obviously this is only for PC VR or Oculus so you can put it on the Quest as well. Uh, it's just a slightly more difficult process as you have to go through the uh, general side loading stuff but anyway so you go into your Beat Saber data folder custom levels and save the zip file there. once that is complete you can extract this as the folder I personally prefer to then delete the uh, RAR file and there you go it's now in your custom levels folder ready to play with all of these different versions available from what you selected. Now, one other thing you can do on the website is open a level visualizer. Now, what this allows you to do is before actually loading it up into the game, you can see exactly how it's mapped each level that you've added in. So, I've just uh, let it map this song, and let's just quickly play test this and see how it turned out. So you get the idea, uh, basically as well you can go on here and set various settings on here, hit sound, static lights, although there currently is no lighting supported by this program, and it will also show you the duration, your various settings, and how many notes there are, just the general stuff. But anyway, I am going to show you now how to map some lighting into here as well as edit the level if you so choose to. So if you download the mod called Mediocre Map Assistant 2, which is I think the currently most up-to-date version, uh, if you open that up, there are various guides online to do this as well, then you'll be presented by this, in which you can go into your custom songs folder 
and you will see here here's the map I just loaded in so you can now edit that change any settings if you so choose to but I wouldn't change the BPM which seems to currently always be set at 60 and not changeable uh, because if you change that then the song will be out of sync and you can select all the uh, difficulty settings here so I'm going to select the expert plus mode and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click edit level so once you are inside mediocre mapper and you have clicked on edit the song you can now listen and play it back just fine and you can hear the uh, song two seconds as well I have the recording set to the wrong audio device okay that should work now so you can now hear music being played through it's a bit loud though so I'm going to stop that and wow okay that's a big wall of bombs that'll be interesting to see but anyway you could edit the note placement of all of these things and the main thing that's going to be more useful at the moment is setting up some lighting so if you just go into uh, I think it's this menu up here you can click here light map and this box will open up now in this box you can set up some simple lighting uh, I'm just going to keep it default for this map you have to do this for each uh, mode though I believe and also difficulty uh, but you can alter however you want things to be. So I'm going to click run light map. And now it's also generated a light map as you can see there. Close that. Close that. And if I play it now. You can see there's some simple lighting. How awesome is that? So I have just auto generated the actual level and the lighting and you have yourself a fully auto generated map so i'm going to save the map go back to songs and hopefully that remains on there when i go and test it and i mean you can change what you want and it should all be good so i am now going to load up the game and test out the map i just downloaded and see how well it turns out Okay, so I am now in the game, and you can see here, uh, I have also made a few test levels with this as well, just to uh, make sure everything works before doing the video. And here's the level that we just downloaded. Uh, it's got all the difficulties here, and it's also got the no arrows mode. I have put it on no fail because, let's be honest, it doesn't have good flow, and it's going to have <laughs> a few issues with an auto-generated level. But, so far, this, uh, from what I've already tested, is the best auto-generator out there for the game, and it does actually do a pretty good job. Like, I would even go as far as to say that it maps better than a lot of 2018 levels that people actually map themselves. So, it's a huge improvement, and really nice that you can basically do this now without any mapping skills or time spent to do it to get your favourite song in the game. Even if it means you're not going to have any leaderboards because it's not synced up with Scoresaver. So let's test this out and it also has the custom lighting I just tested. So let's see how it is.
So that was the map I had just used the auto generator to create on Expert Plus and you could see that there were quite a few flow issues, some double directions and all sorts of other weird things that should never really be on a map but it really varies wildly on the type of song sometimes it maps a lot better than others and I've also found that Expert is probably the sweet spot of this and I'm just going to quickly test that to see how it did with this map let's see the differences So I'm just going to stop it there. You can see that it is much more manageable on Expert, but it's still not perfect. But like I said, this is a very new program and it's already amazing that you can do all of this with it basically. Now I am also just going to test one of the other songs I downloaded with you. Uh, I'm going to pick this one in the middle here and let's do that on Expert. I haven't mapped any lighting with this, but let's just uh, see how it deals with a different song. This is already a very different style of mapping. And this is Expert, not Expert Plus. And look at that. It's all over the place, that's what.
there you have it. That was It's All Over on Expert, completely auto-generated by the computer. Not manually mapped at all. And yeah, again, there were quite a few problems with this particular song because it was quite chaotic and all over the place. And that translated to the mapping itself. But it still was doable and it's not that bad and it's still early stages. Hopefully in the future this will be improved to the point where you basically couldn't even tell that it was made by an AI rather than an actual person. And also it varies between the difficulties and what's been selected as options within the level such as having single dot notes and bombs and all that stuff but i think it's got a good future ahead and hopefully in time will be vastly improved <laughs>